Hi, it is Ayik Down Time again. So I got a request to make this video uh, because uh, some of our Wing Chun friends saw my Chinese video which is I'm trying to explain about the sticking body short strike to uh, the Asia friend. Okay, so the reason of I made that uh, video for the Asia friend is because number one somebody said that uh, what I share or present the long coming shot receive close in is uh, not Wing Chun is misleading okay and uh, according to this person Wing Chun is both long bridge and short okay and then he also mentioned that uh, the turning body sun punch which is a long strike is uh, Wing Chun and so I made another view, uh, video which is theoretically explain that no that is not the case and I got after people watching that, that, uh, that video in theory and uh, some Asia Wing Chun friend asked me to show it, uh, demo it, so that people can have a uh, better understanding. Okay, so that's why is the reason why I make that video, the Chinese video. So now I'm going to uh, present this in English, so everybody know. Okay, both Asia and uh, in the West, we know what's going on. Number one. Before anything, most people have no idea what is long fist and short strike. People keep in thinking, as soon as I have my fist this long, that is called long fist. Long bridge, this is called long, long fist. And then as soon as my fist is uh, this, this short, that is the short strike. Well, this is not what the Chinese mean. This is what, in the uh, recent years, people think what it is, okay? So, a good analogy of the long fist and short strike is, Western boxing is a long fist. BJJ, a Brazilian, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, is a short strike art, okay? One cannot say it because if you look at Western boxing, you have a long strike, jab and then you have a hook here then you cannot say that oh that is uh, western boxing is both long fist and short strike because they have a long here and short uh, the, the hook here no Wing Chun uh, the western boxing the body conditioning it is a long fist it is uh, having that, uh, needing that uh, 40 me uh, centimeter of distance and then the very mobile fit uh, footwork even though it have this this hook this, uh, this hook it is a long fist okay it is not Brazilian Jiu Jitsu you know the comparison the contrast so people can understand what's going on so a lot of people thinking, oh yeah, Wing Chun is both long and short because we have uh, this uh, 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 Buji which is long and then we have this uh, 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 elbow which is short. I mean, that is not what the Chinese, ancient Chinese mean at all, okay? And also this, this uh, 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 turning horse, uh, uh, sun punch, okay, this is uh, long face, it doesn't have to be uh, except and this is, or receive, this is Wing Chun, okay? So, we need to know, before anything, what is long fist, what is short strike. They, it, it is not as what people are thinking, oh, as soon as this, I uh, have a full stretch arm, and then you have this uh, hook, or the, the elbow, then there's short bridge, or, or the short strike, okay? So, that's number one, have to be careful. 
Number two, because the uh, generation gaps or cultural gaps of the Chinese culture, many people, including the Chinese, will take things out of context. Okay? Instead of properly understanding what is going on. For example, number one, people love to quote Sun Tzu. At, uh, the, uh, 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 in the writing of the Wing Chun and so forth, people like to uh, uh, quote Sun Tzu or uh, the Art of War or the uh, Zen, Tao, okay? However, they never really get deep into what are you talking about? When you quote Sun Tzu, what are you quote about? When you quote uh, the uh, uh, Zen, what are you quote about? Okay? For example, the uh, Chinese Buddhism uh, have a popular sutta, which is the uh, Surangama Sutta. Okay? If you look at uh, the Zen Patriarch uh, Xu Yin, when he uh, speaks of that sutra, he always uses the content of Surangama, the preceding content of Surangama Sutra, to define, uh, to, to explain the 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 the, the uh, Surangama Sutra. So meaning that using the chapter one to explain chapter two. Why? Because chapter one has the definitions of the what is talking about about the sutra. One don't go don't go out of content, okay, as one like to explain whatever one like. Okay? And in Wing Chun world, in Chinese martial world it has been for past hundred years it's like that. Instead of looking at what is going on at front, and then they just do whatever uh, explanation they like, okay? And then they say, oh, this is my way, my interpretations. The ancient Chinese don't do that. Because, if the, the, like for example, the Surangama Sutta, even the Zen Patriarch Sui Yin don't do that. They have to follow a certain rule, a certain definition, which is what it means exactly, okay? Speaking about the Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu tell one pretty clearly that one must analyze the situation, the condition, so that one be able to know the outcome, the strength, and the short, uh, shortage of the outcome. Sun Tzu always said, one need to experiment about it so that one know what happened dynamically okay but people don't bring this thing up if you look at the example of Surangama and the Sun Tzu the Chinese is defining thing really clearly <coughs> Sun Tzu is very pragmatic and scientific it is not just like hey you know Trust me, or I just use this Tao words uh, to, to explain things as what I like. It is not like that. Okay? So, one need to understand this. And one thing is worth to mention here. If you look at the, uh, the, the so-called expert from the East or the West today, people can talk about uh, Leong Zhan, Zhan Hua Sun, uh, Yi Kam, all this uh, secret teaching, unknown teaching, and so forth, so forth, so forth. Okay? Like an expert. Or a Mei Se Zhuang and all those things. But then when you ask them, so, so how is Wing Chun in Liang Chan's time? How is Wing Chun? What is Wing Chun in Liang Chan's time? How is it? Why is it happened that way? Nobody explained that. Like people say, oh, according to story, Liang Zhan say this, Yi Kam say this, Zhan Hua Sun inherit this, all this thing until Yip Man and so forth, so forth. But you know what? One don't even go read the Yip Man interview seriously. The Yip, Yip Man, GM Yip Man, uh, 1972 interview seriously. And it's all the stories, okay? And all of these stories, and then it become expert, oh, you know, this is the unknown uh, teaching of uh, Chan Hua Sun. This is the secret teaching of Yi Kam. This is the... 
king of uh, Wing Chun, uh, Leong Zhan. But then, you know what? Seriously. Can anybody explain me why the hell is all oh, this mess and nobody mentioned about short strike? Never people talk about short strike in a really clear way as what we can talk about it today. If people cannot talk about this sticking body short strike, which is according to General Chi Chi Kuang, which is a real deal in military, the long fist and short strike, you go around with all those stories of Zhan Hua Sun, uh, uh, Yik Kam, uh, Liang Zhan, whoever it is, and then this internal, et external Qi, mind power, everything. But wait a minute, even in Qi Chi Kuang time, 1560, nobody talk about it. People talk about long fist and short strike. Can, can we be clear in what the heck's going on with this one? So, so, as what I mentioned, because I'm doing education stuff, can you believe you go to into the engineering department or go talk to the CEO in, the, in, the, in Silicon Valley, say, hey sir, I need your investment. I need uh, 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 to do some new project. And the CEO asks you, so, okay, show me your plan, your details. And you say, sir, I want to make some gadget, some uh, IoT gadgets. And the CEO asks you, so what it is, why it is, how it is. And you cannot explain and you say, yo, I just want doing some gadget. Okay, this gadget is the, that gadget, that gadget is this gadget, all kinds of stuff. Look at, look, see if the CEO don't kick you out from his office. Okay. And if you go doing that in the university, people ask you, what the heck are you talking about, okay? Just make sure you know what you're talking about before you come tell me. So today, the, the, from the east to the west, the same. All these experts, you're talking about all the story, Mui, Liang Zhan, Jisim, and everything, everything. But none explain why is it for past hundreds of years, nobody really clearly talk about what is the difference between long fist and short strike according to the Chi Chi Kuang, General Chi Chi Kuang's real deal Chinese martial arts classifications. This is how serious it is, okay? So okay, with this thing about Chinese culture, we need to be really careful. Are we screwing the whole thing, the entire Chinese uh, uh, culture and entire Wing Chun for us to be expert? Name us as a guru and expert and argue whatever argument sake we want? Or you want to stick with the facts? And I know there is some uh, kinds of uh, what they call royalty. Uh, it's admirable. When my Sifu say something, I have to defend my Sifu to the death. Or my Sikong say something, I have to defend my Sikong to the death. Okay? Well, it is an admirable royalty. But did anybody want to investigate what is going on here? I'm not talking about against anybody. I'm uh, talking about it is something really wrong here. It's practically missing the education there and if you really seriously want to bring this kind of thing to talk to some CEO in Silicon Valley or talking to some researcher <coughs> in the university people is not going to take this seriously okay so okay let's go into the uh, this uh, 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 long coming short receive close in. In Wing Chun, we talk about come accept. We call about my son. Okay, Wing Chun is a, a close body art, close quarter art. The accept or the retain of the come retain like Lao Hui Song. That is received. If you read the ancient Chinese uh, uh, article or, or, or scripture literature and everything, that is received. The Wing Chun, the Lai Lao Hui Sum, the Lao, okay? Retain. That is not retain, that is received. You can read that literature 
to see what it is. And you can also read the uh, general, uh, the, the Grandmaster Yip Man's 1972 interview. It said it clearly that is received. Your time bomb folk is received. The employment, the calm, retained. That's what usually people talk. It, it is not, it is actually receiving. Okay? So, Wing Chun, this Loi Lao Hui Song, the, 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 the slogan everybody know, receive, retain, receive, that's there. And close quarter. So that's why long come, long coming, short receive, close in. That is a clear definition of the soul of Wing Chun. That is actually fusing the Loi Lao Hui Song and the, and the close body. Another thing coming in is, he said that uh, in Cantonese, he said uh, sip leg. Okay? Uh, you just uh, dissolve the, uh, the dissolve or handling the, the power or the force. Well, if we do not have received close in and the Wing Chun mechanics, the mechanical advantage at the core. How is one supposed to sit like or to uh, handle this this force? People talk about, oh, I want to use bong sao sit like. Well, if you bong sao this way, you're not going to sit uh, sit like. Okay, not going to dissolve it force, not be able to handle it. You have to go close in, receive using the Wing Chun mechanics. Okay. Well, you don't believe me? Go read uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Yip Man 1972 interview. Then he say that Bong is received. So it is nothing to do with me. What it got to do is people don't read it. Don't really carefully investigate what is going on and start going all the directions thinking that one can do anything they like, okay? So, once you can receive, whether you want to, you, you want to touch this, this arm or not, the bridge or not, it doesn't matter. Because the ultimate of the receive is playing with the momentum. Wing Chun is not a cue sao. Ah. Wing Chun is close in. Receive, close in. And uh, whether the receive is touching or not touching is a different story. I mean, you can do anything you like if you, if you, if you be able to reach that, 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 uh, that, that level of the Wing Chun skill. Okay. However, if you're keeping thinking, uh, 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 training this kind of stuff, this kind of uh, 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 resisting again, countering kind of stuff, how is that supposed to receive? How is that supposed to, to get close in the body? Physically, it's impossible. Mechanically, uh, 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 mechanically, it's impossible. So, this is the issue. The issue is, why are we arguing about this kind of stuff when the Sun Tzu told us? Analyze it so that you know the pro and con of it, the strength and the weakness of it, experience with it, experiment with it, so that you know how is it dynamically, how, how is this type of stuff, this, uh, this banging the Tan Sao out like that and, and punching uh, uh, so-called so -called Tan Sao, uh, Tan Da type of stuff can be Wing Chun, when this is not receiving, the body cannot get in, and you don't have the uh, mechanics, but it's using have the, 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 the muscular shoulder to force this thing. It is in front of the eyes. I don't want to be right. I just want to, 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 to present what is physical world there. So if we listen to Sun Tzu, don't we need to analyze this thing? Don't we need to experiment with it and see what is going on? Instead of taking somebody's word out there, 
oh, this is an uh, uh, unknown teaching from Yikam or, or somebody else or Leong, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, or this Jisim. Keeping spinning with all this legend without knowing what's going on. What, what, is, what, what good is that? Is, is that it, it's just making a movie or what? <coughs> As for this turning body, turning is called Juin Ma, turning horse uh, uh, sun punch. Turning horse sun punch is just a term. This is somebody is turning horse sun punch, like the guy who wrote, uh, wrote there, which, which I'm answering. The, the proper turning horse sun punch is what? Enter the body turning, strike here. This is turning horse sun punch. It's not this. This is long fist. And this is a kiss of death. Why? Imagine if we're doing this kind of turning horse sun punch to a Western boxer where the both sides have guts and the very mobile, okay, in, in strike, in jabbing. You want to do this? Turning horse sun punch where this is open, this is open, and this is far away, I cannot reach back. And then standing in EG Kam Yong Ma, because there's Wing Chun EG Kam Yong Ma, Wing Chun Sun Punch. Imagine how you're going to face a Western boxer with guarding the whole body, very agile and jet really long. It is this is exactly as what the weak children say. If you're afraid to get hit, you'll get hit. Why? In Wing Chun, because it's a, it's, it's a close body short strike. You get in, into the close body, you're using the Wing Chun mechanics, and at that time, at this area, at this distance, the opponent who is using long strike has a really tough time to using the strike. So you strike it from here. Okay? That is called not afraid to get, get hit. If somebody stand here thinking if I prolong extended my hand, I prolong it so that I feel I'm safe and I strike it from here. Well, guess what? If he is a Western boxer, I am in his in his zone, in his range, and his jet will be all over me. Okay? So that's what he said. If you are afraid to get hit, get struck, you will end up get struck because you stand here and thinking this is safe. The fact is go in so that you jam his uh, the long face uh, mechanics and you strike from here. That is called, if you're not afraid of getting hit, you won't get hit. That's how it defined. So you look at it. From the Lai Lao Hui Song, from the Mai San, from this, uh, if you're uh, afraid to get hit, you will get hit. All these are one piece. They actually define and they echo each other. Instead of just you take things out from contents and then just explain things crazily, okay? And then instead of looking at all this thing like the Sun Tzu mentioned, you analyze it, you observe, exper uh, experiment with it, you observe with it. We go what? We go, mm uh invented uh, Wing Chun. No, 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 Chi Sim, Chi Sim, Chi Sim. And then, oh yeah, Yi Kang has some un uh, un unknown teaching. Oh, why, why is that uh, uh, Tan Hua Sun uh, do not do uh, uh, Wing Chun as other uh, Leong Chan people? Did uh, Tan Hua Sun have all the teaching of Leong Chan? Unended. Decades of unended story uh, playing there and then when the real thing comes in front of our face, technically, we have no idea what it is. That's what I post today for everybody who is expert. Why is it 
for past 100 years, nobody clearly mentioned what is the difference between the short strike and long fist. Why is that in Leongtan lineage? Why is it? Most today are doing long fist. Answer that question. This is a technical question. Okay? So if we want to get to the university, like get, uh, uh, go to the bank and uh, the, 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 to loan some money for the investing the project, we better get this straight. If we can even pass this gate of the, uh, the, the, the scientific, it's hopeless. Okay? The whole Wing Chun can collapse within years while everybody being expert talking about the, the, the Yikam story, the, the Leong Chan story, the uh, Ngui story, the Zan Hua Sun story, the uh, Ji Sim story. Well, you know what? Nobody even cared to read Grandmaster Yip Man 1972 interview. People don't care. So what is this? Okay. Now, another thing about long fist and the short strike. Since when I start uh, studying with uh, my Sifu Chong Chui, we know it clearly, okay? The body is different. Long fist and short strike is different. For example, in the, uh, in the, in the Nam Kui, okay? Since I close to the toilet fine, usually they do this, this. This is the long fist type of stuff. Or they do this, okay? And then kick, okay? The body probably not leaning that much, but it have a slight leaning, okay? So in this is like you're leaning from here, okay? And then all this one, you strike here, okay? That's what how my Sifu Tong Chui thought when it's the long fist stuff. In the short strike, the body is not gonna lean there or stand here, okay? In the short strike, the body has to go in here. So in syrup, to, the, to, to, to contrast this, you see this? And they are two different things. This is a short strike where the body, the, the trunk, the arm, the hand, the arm, and the leg all has to move in. Move in together. Move in together. Instead of this type of stuff, okay? So, you can look at it. In internal art or any art, if they're leaning their body, you know this type of stuff, it is a long fist stuff. The body uh, condition, the body type of long, long, long fist type of body type. If it starts straight, it goes straight in. If you look at our uh, uh, Tom set, when we spin, we cannot afford this kind of thing. We spin, we go fly away. We will lean. Okay? But it is legit for long fish because from this, it can jump, it can shoot in. Okay? So there is the body type. Long fish, short strike. Okay? So, what I'm sharing with you today is there's a science behind it. It is not about me, it's about do we want to have the entire Wing Chun culture collapse in no time if we don't seriously look into this thing. So finally, I like to tell you again as everybody in Asia, number one, I don't, I am not know it all. I just present you what is going on there, okay? If you like Wing Chun, you love Wing Chun, Dig deep, study Wing Chun. Don't study with me, study Wing Chun, okay? Don't study me because I'm not anybody, uh, a grandmaster or anything. Go study, dig into Chinese culture and Wing Chun. Make yourself an expert, a real expert. If you don't think what I'm talking about is uh, important, then don't read my book, don't watch my, my video. Why do you want to waste your time? So this is for you today. 
Also, somebody a lot of time complain about complain about oh my video is too long, blah blah blah. Sorry, I don't do entertainment video, okay? My video I want to leave it up to hundred years later so people can track down what is going on. If you want entertainment, don't watch my video either.